Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into a minute. Let's go. Okay, let's get started with Atlanta. So the Real Housewives of Atlanta producers are searching for new cast members. No more than three are coming back. Now, in this article with the Jasmine brand, they talked about um, Drew and Sanya not having the Real Housewives in their bio. But Drew says she never had them in her bio. The Jasmine brand is reporting that producers of the reality TV show have listened and heard our complaints and they're going to shake things up. Insiders share with us that the Real Housewives of Atlanta is currently casting for season 16 and y'all they are taking their time and they will not start filming until spring of 2024. And I'm going to say this to the people that's out there casting. If you got to go to fall 2024, go on to fall child. Just as long as you get us the right people. You take your time and get the right cast. Let's keep going. I've been meaning to talk about this for so long. Y'all, this is so cute. So Offset, Cardi, Baby Wave, and Culture will be in the new movie, the new Baby Shark movie, December 8th, and it's going to be on Paramount+. Plus. Now, I saw this today. Hennessy is going to be in it, too. The Baby Shark Big Show movie. Y'all, I, I love that they're in there, right? I love that. That's going to be amazing. Are y'all going to watch? Because I'm going to try to get somebody Paramount Plus so I can watch it. <laughs> so I talked about Mariah the scientist yesterday, right? She said she never misses a visit with Young Thug. She said that um, they can't touch each other or anything like that. But now, y'all, wedding bells are among us. Oh, no, among them, right? She says neither one of them want a jail wedding, but she will marry him. But she hopes he gets out. From my understanding, he could get a very long time like life, right? It, I can't believe we're here. I can't I can't believe that. I can't believe that this is a real possibility. What do y'all think about this? Would you wait? Would you do time on the outside with your man? Because I'm going to be very honest. Not me. There's no way. You ain't got no business doing what you're doing to get in there. So you in there just stuck. Go on, stay in there. Child, we ain't really heard from Carisha. But she around here doing mommy and friend stuff. So you know she took the kids to the Dolphins game. Now she having a friends giving with her friends. So she got Saucy Santana on here, baby. And hold on. And her and Ari together. Like, I'm a, like she had to fall back. Now, I don't know if she going to get back up. But she definitely had to fall back. But this is what's important, right? Your friends and your family. Not a man who de devalues women. You know what I'm saying? We're going to watch how she moving so far. Let's keep going. Have y'all ever heard of Aunt Glizzy? From my understanding, like, he doesn't tell the truth all the time. You can't trust what he says, right? Because he said that Wale was dangled over a balcony by Diddy. Wale says he denies being the man Diddy dangled over the balcony, claims he never met Cassie before, and the man who told the story was inspired by the five heartbeats. Wale say it's a shame that a complete fabrication has gotten this far. So, allegedly, Diddy was supposed to have hung him over the balcony because he was talking to Cassie. And while I said that's just not true. And you know what? Honestly, I just can't really see that happen. And the kind of dude that I think Wale is, I don't even think that would even be something Diddy could come close to doing. Right? That was crazy. And you need to stop that. So, these two went live last night, right? And I didn't particularly like this part of the live. Because I didn't really hear what the dentist said, like how she got it started. But I heard what Quad was saying. And Quad was mocking Letitia, Sweet Tea up there. And I just, you know what I'm saying? People don't like Sweet Tea or whatever. But you can like who you like. But the girl really has not done anything to anybody, I don't think. And then we know that the dentist brought her on the show so quad could get at her i think like that's that's a lot for me and they are getting at her and she is feeling it like she looks beat down sometimes let me see if i got this video now with times the wife sat down with times you know you know some of that stuff that quad said this is true you know some of that stuff and quad is right about the truth thing well what is she writing this one? what is she writing about what, what, what do you think like look he, he a control, you know, you know the whole thing we said, or the, the house we broke it into, and you know that because I didn't turn on the alarm. <laughs> they could have gone 
beat your ass quad and I'm gonna be right there. I just don't like that. I think it makes quad look bothered. You know what I'm saying? And she's an antagonist. So I don't like it. But that's just me. If you don't if you do like it, then that's you. I I, I just don't like it. Let's think about Vanessa Bryant during this holiday season. Like, Vanessa has gone up against a lot of stuff, and she has won a lot of stuff in the name of Kobe for people who have done wrong or tried to take certain things. She has won everything. Um, but she doesn't have her husband or her baby, right? So let's just really continue to think about her and keep her, keep her in our prayers for the holidays because she just, you know she doesn't pop up in your mind all the time like other people but she was on my feed and i just i had to say something let's keep going shauna rhymes is doing it again this time she's going to do it on netflix right the black barbie movie a documentary it's going to be on netflix i'm not exactly sure when it's coming out but i'm definitely going to be here for it and i think i'm going to talk about it i love shauna rhymes and this is going to be amazing and tell the story of the black barbie i think this is great I can't wait um, to meet you all today, and I'm just really excited about it. It's your girl, Millie Chun, and I'll see most of you later. Bye, y'all.